Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, I have a, I guess we'll call it a category video for you guys. This is going to be clothing items that I sold on Poshmark. And this video is going to be on my second channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. I just did the hard goods before this, and that will be on my main channel. If you want to check that out, this is my main Bolo Buddies channel. And I'm getting really close to 11,000 subscribers. So if you're not sub, definitely go over there and sub me up. And this video is going to be on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies. So, um, I'm going to share the clothing with you guys on this channel. So we're just going to dig right in and get started. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it and what it sold for. So the first item I sold is this Catherine's brawl. Um, it is a plus size brawl. I always pick up plus size brawls. They do very well. I Catherine's and Cacique are the main brands that I sell. I do sell some other brands, but these are the ones that sell for the, for more money. So I sold this for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. My cost of goods on this item was around $6 and I picked it up at a discount store. The next item I sold is this Lane Bryant sweater. I have a whole bunch of these and a whole bunch of like, I shouldn't say a whole bunch of colors. I think four or five different colors, but I have all of the sizes available. I am looking to sell them. I want to get rid of all of the clothes that I have. I'm trying to get out of clothing and um, focus on hard goods, but I still have, I'm looking at a huge pile of clothes that I need to list that'll probably just keep sitting there. So um, if anybody is in Ohio, like near Licking County that is interested in doing consignment, um, it would be a 50-50 split after fees. So the fees come out, whatever's left over is a 50-50 split. If anybody's interested in that, please look me up on Facebook. There's a link down in the description. I have a couple Facebook groups and reach out to me and we can talk. <laughs> um, okay. So this sweater sold for $11. I took a, I think I took a best offer on that and I, no, I sent an offer. And again, I'm just trying to move it out sent an offer for $11 with $1.50 discounted shipping and Poshmark took $2.95. So my earnings on this was $6.55. My cost of goods, I think I paid a dollar or two for these, but I'm going to say $3 because what I will do is I will go into the, this discount store. I will buy tons of stuff. I will take the total number of items I bought and divide it out by the bottom of my receipt to get one number to simplify just kind of what number to keep in mind when I'm listing things so that I know that I'm making a profit. So that's typically ends up being around $3 per item. That is how I do it. Uh, my accountant just gets my receipts. So that's really what he needs, what I paid for the stuff. This was a retail arbitrage. I sourced this off of the Lane Bryant website. This one probably mm, was not the greatest uh, buy. I think I had like six, seven dollars each in these. I thought they were going to do better. I bought a whole bunch. Uh, I sold it for 18. The buyer paid the shipping, but you know, Poshmark takes 20%. So, not retail arbitrage, you're not going to make as much. I mean, it's just plain and simple. Um, if you thrift this at a thrift store or get it at a garage sale, your margins are going to be higher, but this is new with tags. So I made a little money, um, not awful, but what I would expect from retail arbitrage. The next item came from, I believe this came from Gabriel brothers. And I think I had a buck or two in this. It is William Rast. The tag that's on it says that it retails for $58. You guys, I was pleasantly surprised with how much I got for this item. I think I had this item over on eBay for like 10 or $15. Um, this happens to me all the time. I will have the item much cheaper on eBay. And I always tell you guys, if you're not cross posting, definitely cross post those items because there are different eyes on different platforms. Uh, Mercari and Poshmark, I feel like those buyers, um, if they sell on those platforms, what the platform does is it holds your money until you ask them to release it to your bank. 
So if that money is being held, you can use that money to purchase items. So I think a lot of people um, that sell on Poshmark and Mercari are hobby sellers that sometimes just sell items so that they can buy stuff. And I don't know that for sure, but um, and that doesn't happen on eBay. So the person buying this probably didn't even look at eBay because they probably had a credit that they used. So I definitely sold this for more on Poshmark. I do cross post all of my items using a, an, an extension called List Perfectly. Um, it's amazing. I basically list my items onto eBay and then I cross post them over to Mercari and Poshmark, sometimes other platforms. If you want to check out how this works, I do have a demonstration, a demo video down in the description of this video, and you can get 30% off your first month with referral coupon code Bolo Buddies, all one word. So um, I highly recommend it. I've been using it for over a year, I think probably close to two years now, and I love it. So love it and highly recommend it. And this happens all the time. There was a dress that I just sold. Sorry, um, on Poshmark. I think I sold it for 30 and I think I had it on eBay for 10. So they didn't even look on eBay. And I did end up sending them a second dress free. <laughs> and the reason is, is because I just wanted to get rid of both dresses. And I felt like they paid up a little bit because I hadn't done a price drop or sent out offers in a long time on that item. So really, I was happy with getting $30 for both the dresses. So the next item I sold are these cupcake um, panties. They are new. They come in these little cupcake things. I did take this one. <coughs> Sorry, you guys. I need to grab a drink. I've been recording. Um, this is my fourth video. I kind of batch record. So, um, three or four videos at a time. Um, okay. Cause I'm trying to get content for two channels, actually three channels, but, uh, okay. So I did take this one out of the package and I probably should go in and screenshot this and do, um, photo room because then it wouldn't look like it's laying on my carpet. That might turn some people off. Actually, this is an older listing. I bought like, I don't know, 20 packs of these. So that would probably be a smart idea. What do you guys think? Get it off the floor. Um, let me check something here. Okay. I was like making sure I was still screen sharing. Okay. So uh, photo room, uh, if you don't have access to a white background, that is a fantastic way to get a white background. Uh, I do have a video on this channel, Sourcing with Bolo Buddies, about photo room. It's like eBay filter versus photo room. So check that out. But yeah, that's probably something I need to consider doing. Again, it's a really old listing before I got my white thing that my husband made me. He made me like a white background. I have a video on that also. All right. These bullhead jeans came from a PacSun buyout. Again, I bought a whole bunch of them. I probably had about three bucks in these and I sold them for 10 plus shipping. The other ones sold for more, but I had been sitting on this one for a while. So I just decided to take the offer. The next item are these express crop jeans. Again, discount store cost of goods, about $3. Sold these for 19 buyer paid shipping, and I have a whole bunch of Express listed. I've sold a ton, and uh, I probably have between pants and jeans, probably 200 pair that still need listed that are just sitting. Um, again, I would love to have somebody do consignment for those because I just have no interest in clothing anymore. The next item I sold are these, this Vince Camuto tie, super old listing, had it forever, probably had it for like seven or eight bucks on eBay, sold it for 12 on Poshmark and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this express skirt. Again, I picked this up. Um, you know what, you guys, I think this one came from a sidewalk sale at Gabriel Brothers. So sometimes they will do bag sales where you just fill a bag for a certain amount. So my cost of goods on that was probably like 25 cents or less. All right, this skirt 
retail arbitrage from a discount store had about three dollars in it it is so pretty it's got like these sequins on it this detail it's really neat the picture really doesn't do it justice um you can see here it's kind of got like it, it's cool anyway i think i have some more of those listed if not listed i know i have some i think i have a tote of skirts that uh eh, i don't know maybe i don't i sold off a bulk lot to um someone that bought a bunch of clothes from me i may have sold it there uh, but I sold this for $22 in the buyer paid shipping. Here's another skirt. Same thing. Cost of goods, about $3. Sold this one for $18. Buyer paid shipping. Next item are these Wrangler work pants. I picked these up at Gabriel Brothers also. It's a discount store. Um, I think I've had a buck in these and I sold them for $12 plus shipping. This also came from Gabriel Brothers. I believe this was also a dollar. They are Castaway Boys shorts, size 3. Sold these for 19 plus shipping. Uh, Express Pants, again, uh, another discount store. It's called Discount Fashion Warehouse. I think they're only in Ohio and maybe a couple states that border um, Ohio. Not, not Look it up. You'll have to Google it and see because I know they are expanding. Um, they used to have a really great way that they did their tags and stuff. And I used to get great deals. They have changed it. Um, it was around the time that I started switching to hard goods that they changed their tagging system. So I don't know what they're doing now, but definitely check it out. Um, uh, they were doing a lot. They did have Lane Bryant stuff. I don't think they have that contract anymore, but don't quote me on that. I think think they there's still express stuff there um it's just i don't know they they have a lot of stuff so anyway i sold these for 22 dollars uh plus the buyer paid shipping i've also done well with shoes that i've gotten there but you have to go a lot and um but i would buy oh uh, just tons and tons of stuff oh here's that dress i was telling you guys about so I had this on eBay for like 10 or $12, something like that. And I sold it for 30 here on um, Poshmark. So I had this same dress like in pink. So I went ahead and sent them both dresses. So yeah. Uh, oh, that came from Gabriel Brothers. I think I paid a buck for it. I got a whole bunch of them. They have been really long tail and I was so happy to see it go. I think it'd be great for like Halloween or something, you know, like if you're dressing up like a punk rocker or something like that, or somebody who's kind of like into that style. I don't know. I don't think it's trending right now because it sat for a long time. And I do have some more listed in other sizes if anyone's interested, but it's not a high end brand. It's called wishes, wishes, wishes it. I would almost call it. Um, I don't want to say cheap, but cheap. All right, the next item that sold are these Joe's jeans. When I bought these, Joe's were kind of like a thing. I don't think they're as much of a thing anymore. I was super happy to get $35 for these. I have another pair listed. They are a size 24, which is more of a junior size, really small waist, hard to sell. Um, I had $5 or less in these. I got these at Gabriel Brothers and... I had them listed for less on eBay. So that was another one where it sold more on more for more on Poshmark. This is a Cacique Brawl. I got this at a discount store. My cost of goods, I think I got this for like a buck or two. Uh, again, I did the whole thing where I add it all up and divide it out. So I always say about $3. I uh, sold this for $15 and the buyer paid shipping. There are marks in the fabric because of the, it's like a satiny material. Cha-ching. Ooh, sweet. I just sold a bolo. I sold a, no, I, wait, I received an offer. Oh, oh, wait. I think I sold something and then just got a hundred dollar offer. Oh man. I think I'm going to take it. Sorry, you guys, I'm going off. This is real life reselling right here. You're seeing it. I have some dollhouse. Um, it's a miniature dollhouse set. And I've got it up for auction for $74.99. But somebody's offering me $100. And you know what? I think I'm going to take it. 
I always get nervous about taking um, offers because I'm like, well, what if I let the auction go and I get a bunch of offers um, or a bunch of bids? It has two days left. Oh, I think I'm going to take it. And then I also, I could have swore it cha-chinged. That was really weird. Hmm. Maybe it just beeped that I had an offer. Okay, you guys. I'm going to take it. Get ready. Listen. Let me turn my volume up. This is my favorite, one of my favorite sounds. Here we go. Is it going to work? Then cha ching. I got gypped. Maybe because I was on my phone. Oh, it hasn't gone through yet. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? Cha ching. 100 bucks. I just picked up that um, at an estate sale. So that's super exciting. All right, you guys, let's keep moving here. This came from a garage sale. I went to a garage sale and I got everything free. And this was one of the free items. So I was happy to take an $8 offer on this. And it was a little bit long tail, but I was good with that. I got it free. Okay, you guys, I tell you about my David's Bridal. I did retail arbitrage. I was buying from the David's Bridal website. I do not recommend it unless you are very patient. Um, I did sell some items right away, but um, this one was long tail. Um, I don't know, guys. Do I regret it? I'm going to have to say yes, because it was a big pain to uh, list, dress the mannequin, and the margins have not been as good as I had hoped. Again, I have this item for about, I think, 35 or 40 on eBay and I sold it for 45 on Poshmark. So I don't know, cost of goods, they ranged anywhere from five to 20 bucks a piece. So I, I, yeah, I wouldn't do it again. I overpaid for some of them. The next item I sold is this headband. I think this also came out of the bag sale at Gabriel Brothers. Um, it's, got like this, I don't want to say embellished. I guess it's embellished with beads, but I sold this for $10 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Buffalo skinny pants. Um, Gabriel Brothers cost of goods, probably $3 or less. And it's funny because Buffalo used to be kind of trending. I don't think it really is anymore. But, you know, the original price tag on these can be anywhere from $100 to $150. You guys, I took a best offer of $12 on these. Looks like they retailed for $108. Yeah, $12. That's crazy, isn't it? The next item I sold are these Lane Bryant leggings. These came off of the Lane Bryant website. Um, it was a retail arbitrage from the website. Probably had 5 or 6 bucks in them. I sold them for more when I first got them. So kind of had them for a while. I don't think I have many left. They may actually, this may have been my last pair. I uh, sold these for 15 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from a discount store. I bought a ton of these for a buck each. Um, so I have some wiggle room on these and I have all sizes, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, and 26, 28 available in these. If anyone is interested, please feel free to come on over and make me an offer. It is cross-posted on all three platforms. So if you like free shipping, go to Mercari. <laughs> if you want to bundle it with something else, Poshmark and eBay, you can make me an offer. So the next item I sold is this Kasik uh, plus size swim skirt. And I sold this for $25. Again, these are less on eBay. Haven't done a price drop over here. I retail arbitrage these, have about six bucks a piece in them. So was happy to get 25. The next item is this Lou LaRoe Carly dress. It's got this faux sequin look to it. 
I picked this up at a garage sale and you know, I wouldn't advise picking up this brand. It is hard to sell. It is very long tail. Most items don't go for much, but this one, I probably paid a dollar for it and I ended up selling it for 30. I just thought it was kind of different and yeah, I was thrilled with 30 for that. The next item are these Lane Bryant jeans. They came from a discount store. I have a whole bunch of these listed. Um, I do have other Lane Bryant jeans listed as well. Well, they are thinning out. Um, they sell pretty good. Uh, these are more of a trouser style. I sold these for $31 and the buyer paid shipping. Another one of those brawls, sold it for $15. This is a Victoria's Secret. Also came from a discount store. Cost of goods around $3. This one's not fancy. Bought a bunch of Victoria's Secret in bulk. Some were fancy, some were not. Some sold fast, some sell slow. Sold these for this one for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. And this Kasik blindfold, I believe, mm, I'm not sure where I got this, but I had about a dollar in it, I think. I thought it was like a, a garter type deal that you tie on your leg, but somebody told me it's a blindfold. <laughs> So I had it on the leg, but I changed the title to say blindfold. Either way, it looks kind of funky, um, but I have sold some. So I have a whole bunch listed. If anybody's interested, feel free to make me an offer. Just if you make me an offer, put Bolo Buddies or something so that I know that you're, you saw this video and whatnot. So links to my stores are down in the description. All right, you guys, again, this is my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel that you're currently at. Check out my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, my main channel for more Bolo content, tons of content over here. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And I will see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.